Judy and welcome to Vampathon Day 3. Not sure how this vlog's gonna go again today either because it is now like 12 or 1 and I haven't really done anything today or filmed anything but I do have some reading updates. Last night I finished Vampire Academy. I gave it five stars and I loved it. It was so good and it was just so easy to read. I really love Rose. She's just a badass and she's quite funny. Like I, there was parts of this book I literally laughed out loud. Just really, really enjoyed it. I expected it to be a lot more cliche and it wasn't too bad really. So I think as long as you read this knowing that this is kind of a book, I'd say it's more tailored towards early teens, you know, like the things we were all reading when we were about 13 and stuff like that so as long as you take that in mind when you read this and it's really really enjoyable i may have reserved book two at a local bookstore so i'm gonna go pick that up today but yeah i really really enjoyed this i'm definitely gonna have to watch the movie now again because yeah it's just so good i'm um, so really glad that i finally read that and Kay will be very very happy because it's her favorite book ever <laughs> and then i also finished vampire night volume one so i don't know if i properly talked about it yesterday in my vlog because that vlog was kind of mm, but i finished this one yesterday i wasn't planning to read this yesterday but it just sort of happened and I'm glad that I did because I really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to pick up volume two today and read that this week as well. It was just really fun. I started watching the anime on Netflix as well, which is also really fun. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. This is just, it's just fun. And <laughs> it was my first ever manga. So yeah, I gave this five stars as well. So I did read three books yesterday because I finished an audiobook. And then today I did do a little bit of reading this morning. This book was sort of on my TBR for Vampathon, but it's also on my October TBR. This does fill the prompt of a vampire being in love with another supernatural creature um so that is a discovery of witches you'll all know from my previous vlogs that i've been doing the real time read along and i ended up kind of slacking on it and i ended up behind and then ahead and then behind again and i haven't really been keeping up with the actual dates i was supposed to read on but i did read some more of it this morning um i literally only have about 50 pages or so left not much at all i literally have that much left so yeah i'm nearly finished i'm on page 543 now and i am loving this book it's definitely gonna be five stars i knew that i'd love it so yeah nothing new but i am still reading this as well for vampathon so i should hopefully finish this today which will be really good because it will mean i've read four books so far this week which is great considering we're on day three so hopefully i can finish that um today I haven't picked up interview with the vampire again because I feel like, I don't know, like I just can't, just can't bring myself to read that again. Um, maybe later in the week, but I just, I really don't want to go near it at the moment. Yeah, as of right now, I don't want to read it, but I've been listening to my audiobook all morning for Priory of the Orange Tree, so I've made some more progress with this. This isn't on my Vampathon TBR, but is on my October one. So I'm now on page 539 and things are really picking up in here. I've kind of grasped certain things a little bit more but i still can't figure out properly who's who like if you ask me who a certain character was i won't be able to tell you but i'm kind of understanding things a little bit more but i'm liking all the action that's happening anyway and i am enjoying it a lot more i'm on page 539 so i'm about two thirds of the way through now so i only have this much left so Mm, maybe i can finish it this week i don't think i will but i mean if i could finish this in october then that would be really good so i might even though this isn't a prompt for vampathon it does have like dragons and stuff in here so i guess it still kind of comes under like supernatural mythological creature kind of thing for halloween and i might just pick this up as my audiobook instead of into the vampire even though it's not vampy but i can't figure out another vampy book i want to listen to an audio i was going to start dracula again but i'm not feeling anything that's kind of like a written like a classic or anything i just want something easy or obviously because this is already on my tbr it would make sense for me to continue listening to this so i think this is just going to be my audio book for the week hopefully i can finish this and yes i am enjoying it a lot more <laughs> apart from that i don't have any other reading updates today i'm going to start either the Damned by Renee Adier, or I'm going to start Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. I did put a poll on Twitter asking people which one I should read because they couldn't make my mind up and everyone's leaning more towards Hunting Prince Dracula. It was really close, but Hunting Prince Dracula seems to have won, so I think I might pick that up next. Although I did receive Kingdom of the Wicked in the post the other day 
and I don't really think this would fit under any prompts but I am so very tempted to start this book because it sounds like something I will just absolutely adore. Still really want to read Addie LaRue because I started it and got 16 pages in and then haven't picked up since because yeah lots of stuff's gotten away. I don't know I might read this instead. It's not really Vampathon so probably not but maybe. <laughs> but yeah I think Hunting Prince Dracula is going to be the book that I start today. I just don't know 100% just yet. But yeah hopefully I can finish A Discovery of Witches today. I might read volume 2 of Vampire Night today and then obviously start Hunting Prince Dracula so yeah Vampathon's going quite well for me. I'm really enjoying it. It's so fun but it's not been very creepy because all of my colour vampathon plans that I did have like going to pumpkin patch and stuff like that have all been cancelled because all the pumpkin patches are sold out as I said in my day one vlog and obviously with all the covid stuff happening things are getting more and more restricted. I'm gonna go to the bookshop today so I'm going on to the bookshop I'm gonna pick up some books there and pick up vampire academy book two and then I think I'm going to sit in the cafe there and do some editing and have a little read. So that will be really, really nice. So I will take you guys along with me there. So hopefully that will be fun to get some bookish content. Yeah, <laughs> not a whole lot going on today. So it turns out I've got book mail. So I'm going to go and grab that because someone's at the door and then I'll unbox it. So we've got a Waterstones parcel. I pre-ordered so many things. I'm not really sure what this is, but I think it might be Troy by Stephen Fry. I think I'm right, yeah, it does look like it is. I think I'm buddy reading this book in November with Charles and Jodie. It's, it's exciting. Yes, it is. Oh, it's so pretty, but I wish this would have had a dust jacket to match my other ones. So this is Troy by Stephen Fry. So this is the Sand Waterstones exclusive edition, and it just looks like this. It's a tiny, <laughs> that is the tiniest signature ever. Oh my God, that's so funny. It is signed, as you can see here. pretty very happy that that's finally here i have to make room for this on my shelf but i'm excited that this has arrived so many pre-orders for the rest of the year it's insane and i think i have a book waiting for me in another branch that i really need to go and pick up I just haven't had time to just yet but yes exciting book mail i think i'm going to read some more of a discovery of witches right now and then i have a couple of errands to run and then i am going to head into town and go to waterstones Yay! Even on my days off, I end up back in work anyway. <laughs>
Okay, so it is a lot later now. I went into town, I went to the bookstore, and I bought some books. So, book haul. <laughs> Pretty much all of my vlogs are like giant hauls at this point, so is anyone surprised? Not really. So yeah, we have another book haul here, again. I may as well show you guys what I got. So as I said earlier in the vlog, I picked up a volume two of A Vampire Night. So I'm gonna read this tomorrow because I read volume one yesterday and I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm really excited to read this one. Probably read this one in one sitting again as well. Just very, very excited. I also picked up a book two in the Vampire Academy series. So this is Frostbite by Rochelle Mead. I don't know when I'm gonna pick this up now because I was gonna read today, but I started Prince Dracula instead. So I might start this tomorrow or whenever i finish hunting prince dracula i don't know but i will probably read this quite soon and i'm really really excited to start this because i really enjoyed vampire academy so yeah i just had to pick up the next book <laughs> then the next book is a book i'm really excited for i've had it on my list for a while and i just took the plunge today and i got it so this has the most beautiful cover and it looks like this it is absolutely stunning this is my kind of book. And this is the Virago Book of Witches. This is literally a collection of short stories all to do with witches. So there are over 50 stories of crones and nixies, shapeshifters and beauties, including the loving fox witch of Japan, Italy's witch be witch, Scotland's good wife of Lagan, Biddy L and the terrifying Kali. Then there is Baba Yaga, who comes in many forms down through the ages to haunt, entice, possess, transform and challenge. Every corner of the globe, bequeaths us folklore and legends about women who step out of line and become banshees howling night witch and harbinger of death it's just loads and loads of short stories all about witches throughout history mythology and stuff you all know i love my witchy books you all know i love my mythology so this book was naturally going to be bought by me and i'm so so excited like i can't wait to read this i might start this this week as well but yeah it is beautiful and i'm very very happy i finally bought it then next is a random purchase I made today. So I think I saw this online, but I just thought this is perfect. Vampathon, I've got to buy it. So this is the cult classic that inspired Dracula, and this is Sheridan Le Fanu Carmilla. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But this basically, I think this was written 26 years prior to Dracula. So this is like the original vampire story. And it's quite short. It's like only 100 and something pages, 155 pages long. This is just a Miller and I'm very very excited to read this. It'll be really really good if I can squeeze this into my TBR for Vampathon because obviously it's perfect for Vampathon and it's quite short so hopefully I can read this. If not I might download the audio and let that replace into you with the vampire instead but yeah I'm very very excited to read this and the cover is so so cool. I love it. Then next we have another random purchase. So this is the sequel to a book I haven't read yet, but I picked up last month, I think it was, and I do plan to read it soon. I'm gonna use my awful excuse, it, but it was there, so I bought it. Whenever I see a hardcover that's a US import, I never really like to not buy it because quite often eventually it does become unavailable because it is a US import so I always try to get them when I can. So the book I'm talking about is Jennifer L. Armentrout's Rage and Ruin. So this is the sequel to I think it's Storm and Fury. Yeah to Storm and Fury which I haven't read but this is a YA fantasy and it has like a half angel in there and stuff and you all know I love my angel stuff. So I'm very excited to read the first one and then obviously I now have the sequel and I just didn't want to pass this up. Plus, I wanted to get my full stamps on my Waterstones loyalty card, so I needed something to bump it up a bit, so this was the book. <laughs> How cool is this cover? Like, love it. So cool. Then, lastly, I picked up this book. So, I did start the audio for this book um, last week, I think, but I'm not far in at all. I'm, like, a chapter in. This is a book I've been eyeing up for a while, and it's right up my street. You'll know as soon as you see it. This is the history of magic from alchemy to witchcraft from the ice age to the present. And this is by Chris Gosten. Um, and this is literally exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> so alchemy, witchcraft, all kinds. Exactly the kind of stuff I like to read about. Yeah, I have started this and I'm very, very excited to read it. I'm trying to read a little bit more non-fiction, especially when it comes to witchy stuff. And I love this cover as well. But yeah, this is just literally alchemy and witchcraft and history and whatnot. And I'm just very, very, very excited for it. <laughs> so that is my miniature book haul for today. Reading updates. I don't even know if I vlogged a clip before. I might have vlogged a clip about this already but if i haven't i finished discovery of witches earlier 
five out of five stars i love this book so much you i was gonna love it as soon as i bought this series at the start of the year and even when i first heard about them quite a long time ago i always knew it was something i'd love to read i don't know why it took me so long to get around to reading them but i absolutely adored this book it was so good and i just love diana and i feel like i can sort of relate to her sometimes with certain things and I just really, really love her as a character and I just love this book so much. So yeah, I did tab it. As you can see, there are a lot of tabs here. <laughs> like, look how many tabs there are. There's so many sticky tabs. I did tab this book and I absolutely adored it. I think I'm going to pick up the sequel next month. And I can't wait because season two is centred around Shadow of Night, which is book two. So yeah, I absolutely loved this. I'm fully obsessed with the discovery of witches now. Surprise, surprise. And I want to be Diana Bishop. <laughs> I am a Diana Bishop wannabe. I absolutely adore this book. Five out of five stars and I just need to get to the sequel ASAP. I have a reading update for Pride of the Orange Tree. I listened to the audiobook while I was out and I'm now on page 636 so I only have this much left to go and I am really really enjoying this. I feel like I am still a little bit confused. I definitely haven't fully grasped the plot and because of that, I know I can't fully appreciate just how good this book is as a fantasy book, which is really unfortunate. But it's just, like I've said in my other vlogs, I don't think maybe it's the right time for me to be reading this. I don't think I'm taking it in properly. Maybe physically reading it would be a lot better for me. I'm not really sure. It's just obviously I wanted to get to it. It was on my TBR. It's a big ass book. I needed to do the audio. So I think I might come back to this like in the future. But for now, I am enjoying it a lot more than at the start. I just kind of, I think I zoned out for like a chapter while I was out and now I'm sort of, um, I feel like I've missed something important, but it's too late for me to go back. So yeah, I am really enjoying it a lot more and I'm hoping now that I only have that much left, I can finish it this week before October ends. I'm definitely enjoying it a lot more. I'm loving all the like badass females that are in here and the dragon stuff, so cool. Um, and I also like the female and female romance. But yeah, I am enjoying it. I just, like I said, I'm still a little bit confused and I haven't fully grasped the politics, the characters, the plot, just everything. I haven't got a good enough grasp on to really appreciate this book. But I am still enjoying it no less. And yeah, I'm hoping I can finish it this week. I think I have 200 pages left, give or take. So, I mean, I think that's doable. It's like five hours of audio. So hopefully I can finish this in the next couple of days. Even though it wasn't on my Vampathon TBR, it was on my October one. So I'm pretty happy with my progress of this. And there's a good chance now that I might actually finish it. And then I did start hunting Prince Dracula. I did take this out with me and I read like one page when I was at the cafe. I ended up editing instead and uploaded my vlog. But I'm not very far into this book at all. Three chapters in, I think. I'm on to, I'm on to chapter four now so i'm on page 27 so i'm not very far in at all yet but i really like harry maniscalco's is writing i really love stalking jack the ripper so i'm hoping i adore this just as much and it's very fitting for this time of year because it's about murder and dracula and yeah stuff i feel like this week is going okay reading wise because i have finished four books and i am almost finished another book that was on my tbr for the month in general i've read two books that were on my vampathon tbr I'm going to read the graphic novel tomorrow on volume 2 of the manga. I don't know if I'll get to the dam this week now because I'm not sure how long this is going to take me and I might start the other book. I don't know. Um, we shall see. But I'm very, very excited to see what happens with this one. Nothing's happened too much. Well, I say nothing's happened too much but there's already been a murder in the first 30 pages. But I mean, I haven't really grasped anything from this book yet but yes i am very very excited to see what happens with this one so i'm gonna read this tonight i'm gonna go and grab a cup of tea i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna read some more of this so yes that is all of my reading updates and i don't think i have anything else exciting to tell you guys about I did just upload my day two vlog which i'm not very proud of it's kind of boring and i have a feeling this vlog will be the same because i haven't done much except go to the bookshop today this is kind of frustrating because i had so many cool spooky plans for this week and covid and the weather has kind of ruined those so yay but alas a vlog's a vlog isn't it it's still something to go up so i am hoping you guys are enjoying this a few of you have tagged me in your vampathon reads and stuff and like stories and stuff which i really appreciate i love it when people tag me in their stories and stuff i love it it makes me happy i'm gonna go and get my cup of tea and i'm gonna sit and read some of this book so i will catch up with you guys later 